What's going on, guys? Um, today is Sunday, March 25th. We have to be on our way out of Wichita by April the 2nd, the day after April Fool's Day and Easter Sunday. I figure we're going to leave on Monday the 2nd. Probably not a good idea because it'll be right after the holiday. Head towards Colorado. Um, there is a truck stop in Goodland, Kansas, and I think we're going to go ahead, leave probably around, uh, I want to say 9 or 10 in the morning, make it into Goodland, probably about 5, 6 o'clock. Um, there's a truck stop there, there's also a Walmart that allows overnight parking. Personally, uh, I've read the reviews on that Walmart and they're not very good. So, there's also another free camping site up around that area, past the Colorado border. We might just stay there. Because the plan is, is to check into the Cherry Creek State Park there in Aurora, Colorado at 1 p.m. Get uh, everything situated there because we will be there for a week. And then uh, go into Denver and get supplies. And it should last us for that week food and whatnot. We aren't planning to eat out a lot there. We are going to go explore places, uh, probably go to Golden. Um, I never have gotten to do that Coors Brewery Treat, or the Brewery Tour. So I'd like to check that out and maybe just walk around Golden again for a little bit and take the dog with us. Um, other than that, yeah, it's now down to major crunch time. We still have to get rid of our couches, put our TVs in storage. <clears throat> Already uh, got pretty much everything in there. We downgrade to, geez, two plates, two glasses. You know, basically we're going camping on the road, so everything has been downsized. Um... Now, after Colorado, I am going to basically be searching for free campsites. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go down into New Mexico from Trinidad, Colorado. Camp down there for maybe two to three days. Make our way down into Texas. And see, this is the thing with us, is our travel plans, when we're traveling, they're always going to change. Uh, we decided to go down to Texas, through Texas, and down to the Gulf, and then make our way up the coast and into Louisiana, down to New Orleans, um, probably stay in Louisiana three to four days, on into Florida, um, and here's the thing about Florida, the research I've done is there's not a lot of free camping sites there, you're going to have to pay at least a little bit, um, after Florida, we're going to head up into uh, Georgia, into the northern part of Georgia, which is where And uh, hopefully, you know, stay there with them for about three to four weeks. Or I might get us... So, we'll see. Um... It is what it is. Like I said, travel plans with us always change. The um, only difference with us traveling this time is we're going out on the road for a long extended period of time. And before we would, like I've said before in previous videos, we did a 25 hour drive from Wichita, Kansas to Lakeland, Florida. Non-stop except to stop and eat gas. And I think we stopped in West Men Memphis for like an hour around midnight that night and got something to eat from a flying jack. But the whole idea is not to travel as fast and to see, you know, as much as we can while we're out on the road. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, all else fails, something go really bad goes wrong, that's why we're taking two vehicles. 
we can always come back to Kansas. I'm leaving most the majority of my savings and money here. I'm only taking... Mm, well, I really don't think you guys need to know that. But anyway, um, stuff goes bad. There's always alternatives. Um, I think I've thought this through pretty well. i planned pretty well for this. Uh, we even got gym memberships at Planet Fitness. That way we can work out, get our showers, because like I've said before in our van, I can barely fit in the shower, you know, and I really don't want to use the toilet that much. Um, you know, if we got to pull over to the side of the road and have to use the facilities, we'll use the facilities, but I'd rather do it just like I would normal camping. And the campgrounds that we're going to in Colorado do have facilities and some of the free campsites I've been looking up in Texas, they have, you know, it's free. Um, we'll just have to tow down water. Um, some of them have vault toilets, you know, and just a bathroom. So we'll tow down water. Some of them don't have dump stations, you know. And right now with it being close to April, especially in Colorado, it's still going to be cold up there. So I don't want to fill up uh, my onboard tank with water on the van um i think we'll just go with the flow and you know see what happens worst worst scenario is i have brought us enough money to give us a motel six or a super eight um i just i'm not gonna pay 93 dollars a night for the stapleton and uh or the stapleton uh, holiday in there in denver it's just ridiculous even though it's a really great hotel they got jacuzzi they got you know swimming pool that's heated two restaurants inside and a bar so but i'm just not going to do that this time this time we're going to try to go with as little as much money as possible and uh, see where it goes from there um one thing i am doing try to save money on the road is and i think i've talked about this before in other videos is i smoke cigarettes so right now a pack of my cigarettes at a local convenience store which we call quick trip here in kansas and missouri is seven dollars and 14 cents with tax so this is what i'm doing i'm rolling my own and when marissa starts you know Helping out more with these videos. Um, I'll probably do a demonstration on how I actually roll these cigarettes. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, anybody that's smoked and tried to save money before probably knows about it. In fact, Wicked Stone, um, if you check out her channel, she actually did a video on how she does it. So, But it will save, you gotta think, I smoke a pack and a half a day. Sometimes if we're drinking beers, um, I'll smoke two packs a day. So there, right there, there's over 14 bucks a day. So 14 bucks a day times seven days a week. It kind of adds up. So I'll be rolling my cigarettes on the road. And once we get down south to the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida, cigarettes are a lot cheaper down there. Uh, Last time I was down there in 2015, I believe, or was it 16, we went and visited family. Um, I bought a carton for $35. So here it's $56, $60 for a carton, and that's if we take the little 45-minute drive to Oklahoma to the Indian Reservation. So just think how much they'd cost at our local convenience store quick trip. I'm guessing about 70, 70 odd bucks. So... Anyway, I'm kind of rambling now. That was just a quick little update. Hope everybody's doing well. And hopefully here in a week, you guys will be seeing more of Mars on here. Because um, she won't be working. And we'll be out exploring. Hope everybody's doing well. We'll talk to you later.